famous Idaho Potato Bowl as part of Capital One Bowl Mania. From Albertson Stadium of Boise, Idaho, out of the back, the Akron Zips looking for their first bowl win in school history. Taking on out of the Mountain West Conference, the Utah State Aggies looking for their fourth consecutive bowl win. It's Connor Hundley in the backfield with it. Looking to throw on first down. Dumps it underneath. There's Jerome Lane. First play of the game. And Lane makes the catch. He's all the way up to the 35. This Woodson play fake. Takes a shot. Double covered and incomplete for Amani Davis. And it's fourth down. That just shows you how efficient he was when he got to play. Keep the throw on third down at seven. And he's going to be sacked back near the 12. Jatavis Brown gets to him. Savon Pittman as well. With Kevin Weinel down on the field. And Mike Bellotti. I'm Mark Neely. Second down and 10 for the Zips. Woodson looked at Hundley. Now throws across the middle and catches him in stride. A.J. Cody breaks a tackle. Gets a block. Down the sideline. Inside the 20. Hit at the 15. And pulled out of bounds there by Tyler Floyd. A 43-yard gain. And I'll tell you the difference right now is the fact that Woodson is getting great protection. He's not even pressing to step up, throw the ball right there. Nice job spreading the defense out and a great run after catch to put him down inside the red zone. So a first down from inside the 15 of Utah State. They flip it. Flip it now going to throw to the quarterback. Woodson, touchdown. Touchdown, well, you have some time between your last game and the bowl game to work on a few things, and Akron pulls it out of the, the bag here pretty early, Mike. Nice trickeration, I'll tell you what. You can see this it ends up looking like a reverse. Here's the toss back, and now as he comes out, the quarterback sneaks out that backside, and that's a great throw under pressure. This play, we've seen this a lot. I've seen this a couple times late in the season. Something you hold in your pocket, but you want to try it, and you want to be the first guy to try the trick play in the bowl game. 14-yard touchdown reception for the quarterback, Woodson. Just a three-play, 56-yard drive that took less than a minute, 52 seconds. Robert Stein's point after. It's 7-0 Akron. So it's the Zips that score first with a little trickery. Goodman finding Thomas Woodson. 7-0 Zips. not able to solve the Akron uh, defense. And that's a blown opportunity to get the ball in Akron territory and get nothing out of it. Three possessions, three, three and outs, and they're going to pin him in deep again. On special teams, caught at the one by Danny Seifler. Another impressive punt for Dalton. But has excellent skills. Quarterback draw, Woodson. This guy runs pretty well for a big man. Across the 20, up to the 21, and a first down for the Zips. That's an important 14-yard gain for them. 7-0 on a touchdown reception from Woodson. Yes, you heard that correct. Woodson looking to do what he normally does, throw the football, but now he's going to take off again. He saw that open blue turf and has a little strut, and he gets across the 30. Near another first down to the 31 before he's tackled by LT Filiunga. You got to play pass, but you got to remember the quarterback draw also. Don't read, and he hands it off. Torrey Green making the tackle of Alexander. About a yard short of the first down after he gained a four. Third and nine. Again, Utah State without a first down. Yeah, they're getting the third and nine because they're getting no yards, zero or negative yards on first down. They've got to improve first downs to make the third downs more manageable. He hit as he throws, and that ball dropped incomplete. That was a forward pass. Jamal Marcus hitting Keaton as that ball was just coming out. In the second quarter, Akron ball, second down at eight. Play fake. Woodson hit as he throws, and that ball picked at the 40. That may have been a horse collar throwing down Jalen Davis, but Davis gets his third interception of the season to lead the Aggies, and that's just what Utah State was looking for. Jalen Davis is the best cover guy, but he was in zone coverage that time. Good pressure on Woodson. Forced that ball down the field. You see right here coming. He's going to step into this throw, but right now, who? Kyle 
fact, well, like we say, talk about the fact that he makes plays, his presence known all over the field. Third down at 17. Keaton fires, caught, running after the catch, sharp. He's going to be stopped shy of the first down by about four yards, though, right at midfield. And it'll be fourth down. Half of it back, they got almost all of it back in that situation. It's a 15 yard gain, and there is a first down. First of the game for Utah State. Geyser makes the tackle. They certainly needed that. The interception very well may avoid the whole team's confidence. Coach Wells has talked about this team being up and down this year like a roller coaster. Not very consistent. Picking up 10 for Utah State, and the pass to Shark gets a block on the edge. There's a gain of over 10. He's inside the 25. They'll mark him out. Talk about the 21. If they feel they got somebody on their heels, they'll just try to ramp up that tempo. He's looked to the sideline, gets the snap. Quick drop, sees pressure, throws high, picked off. Right on his knees down there, but the interception by Chris Gibbons. Gibbons picks it off at the six to stop the Utah State drive. Second pick of the year for the senior from Ridgeland, Mississippi. Zips are going to have the ball, and when we come back, a special guest here in Boise after Keaton throws the pick. 69, well, I had my first undefeated season completed. You know, I had some undefeated seasons, but not, to, not after the bowl. Woodson brought down at the five, so that's going to be three and out that time for the Akron offense. One yard line twice, but he's going, he's going to have to throw it to get out of there. Here's a good example. No, that's Button out of their own end zone. That's another way to get out. Sharp takes it to midfield, and he's got some room. Walk in the tight rope and see where they're going to mark him out at about the 31. So Utah State will have great field position. Uh, yeah, that's right. After being NC State. What gives you more pride, your accomplishments or the accomplishments of your son? It would have to be sons. You know, you can't look at your own. You can't look at your own, you know. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy when they played when when they played West Virginia's fight song. That kind of made my brought back some lump, memories. Lumps in my throat. Yeah. Third and eight, taking a shot to the end zone and hangs up. Caught. Nope, he dropped it at the end. Pleading his case, Brandon Swindle that he had it. Ooh. That may go to a replay simply because I, I believe he had it. I think the defensive back punched it out as they went to the ground. The question if he can control it through contact with the ground. He has the ball right there, but they're still fighting and battling. He had it. I believe, actually, I'll tell you what, I think I that, think that is a touchdown. That'll be a touch. Yeah, yeah I, I would agree with you. You know, I was going to ask you, if they hadn't scored, a, if it goes to fourth down, would you take points on the field goal, or do you think you need to score a touchdown? I'd grab him. I, I wouldn't turn that three down. Yeah. You know, right. You're never yeah. sure about that touchdown. That's it. That's it. I'll tell you what, I, I think that... Well, they're going to fake it on a field goal here. What happened? They didn't, they didn't pick it, huh? Well, Did not. Well, that, that rule about you must maintain uh, possession of the ball through contact with the ground, I guess, is huh. what caught him. Looked like a bobbled snap is what caused this. It wasn't a straight fake. But they had to try to make well, the best of it. And as a result, Utah State comes up empty. They had an issue there with the hold. Woodson finds Pratt again. Upended. And as a first down up to the 28, Tyler Floyd and Deshane Hines hitting him at a 14-yard gain. Woodson doing a great job of finding the open receiver here. You see there in man coverage, Pratt right there. Gets open, gets a little bit of a cushion from his cover guy. And the reality is, Hines was nowhere in the vicinity at all. But third down at nine for the 16. Tenth play of this drive coming for the Zips. Woodson taking a look towards the end zone. Going in that direction and overshoots. A.J. Coney is covered well by Brian Hayes. 33-yard attempt for Robert Stein, the senior out of Cincinnati, off the right hash. And he sneaks it in that right upright and adds to the Akron lead. Zips looking for their first ever bowl win, have a 10 nothing advantage late in this first half. 
Kent Myers comes in now as the quarterback. His second series for Utah State today. Hands it off. Devontae Mays. Mays breaks through. Inside the 30. And dropped at the 11. Jatavis Brown able to come back and catch him. But Mays runs for 60 yards. Great job up front. And obviously... They need a spark, and this can help them. They've got to convert, though, in the red zone. But watch right here. Just a zone-blocking scheme. Everybody come over the top, and a nice cut right there by Mays, leaving the safety, and his fill is incorrect. And it's off to the races. And obviously, though, Javis Brown, the guy that can run, as we talked about, his football speed, his speed in pads, is second to none. Utah State has all three of their timeouts. Clock running. Get it 40 to go first half. Aggie's trying to get on the board here. To the end zone, has him. Touchdown. Brandon Swindle says, yeah, I've got this one. No yeah, doubt about yeah. it. I'm going to hang on. There's nobody going to take that ball away from me. Kent Myers, whether he's just the beneficiary of great timing, but certainly he made some things happen when he got in there. They had turned the ball over the previous two times in the red zone. This time they cash in. Second TD catch of the year for Swindle, a guy who two years ago had a great year, then last season injured. His Achilles at game two of the year missed the rest of the season. Had a hamstring injury early this year. Been hampered by the injuries. And he has a touchdown catch here to get the Aggies on the board. Just three plays, 71 yards on that drive. In 121 at the point after, up and through for Brock Warren. And the senior, Brandon Swindle, helping the Aggies get on the board, coach. Great catch, and he made sure this time that he got both those feet down and hung out to the ball. And third and long, they've shown the propensity to just run the ball. Quarterback drawing his own read right here as opposed to throwing it. Two to seven on third down today. Blitz off the edge, and Woodson is going to be swarmed under. Moala and Jens Painter, number 31, is the one that came off the right side. Takes the handoff to Hunt. On the run, fires it to midfield, and Braylon Roberts with his first catch of the day for a gain of eight up to the 50. And thanks to the last couple of possessions for the Aggies, second quarter leading their way. Myers steps up, throws, caught by Houston, who takes a knee while making the catch at the 31. First down, stopping the clock to move the chains. Both at least to tie this thing, if not take a lead to the intermission. Myers pulled down, lost the football. Scooped up and running the other way. Rodney Cole, still on his feet. Tackled. Four seconds left. Cole tackled it to 12. Jatavis Brown knocked it out of Myers' hands. And the 300-plus pound defensive tackle, Cole took it the other way. Cole's the one guy that can make, here you see the rush coming. Free hitter off the offside. Strips the ball, and then Cole gets lucky, picks it up. When you're in the city, oh, when you're in the country, pick it up and run. And he does a nice job of making people miss it. You can see Justin Herbie, by the way, who was trailing Cole, like he wanted to take the football himself. Up the left hash, the left-footed kicker knocks it through. There indeed is at least that six-point swing you were talking about, Mike, here at the half. It's a 13-7 accurate lead. So to begin, it's Kent Myers, the quarterback, slings it out to Hunter Sharp, Sharp to the sideline. He gains over 10. To mark him out at the 49, picks up 13, pushed out by DeAndre Scott. 17, typically you can play two things. Blitz and force the ball out early, hope to make tackle in space, or draw back, play coverage, and just tackle him underneath the sticks. Myers going to step up, he's going to run, he's got a chance with the block to run for the first down, it does. The way inside the 20, 28 yard run. He needed 19. He got 28 before being stopped by Jordan George. They're trying to run the crossing route here. You see somebody across. They're bringing pressure. Five guys. There's nobody in the middle of the field, as you can tell right there. So for the quarterback, that means man coverage. I can take off. They have nobody spying on me. Let me see if I can get the first down. Maybe I can get a little bit more. So it's not unusual for him to use his legs. Myers play fake, taking a shot for the end zone for Sharp. Flag, Sharp the catch, he got it, touchdown. Well, this is either going to be a 
offensive P.I. or defensive P.I. When a receiver gets that kind of separation, DeAndre's got one of the two of them. I'm not sure which way this flag's going to go. Now, this could go either way. Pass interference on the defense number six. The penalty will be declined. The result of the play, touchdown. Goes on DeAndre Scott. Sharp, a very physical receiver, too. Six foot, 200 pounds. It's just, and the ball was thrown well because it had enough air for him to make his move off of the contact with the DB. Still catch the ball. Team. Obviously, Myers very hot right now. Ninth touchdown catch of the year for Sharp. They're an extra point away, taking their first lead. Brock Warren. And the Aggies are in front for the first time here in the famous Idaho Potato Bowl. Sharp defended by Scott. Scott has six picks on the year, threw the flag, and went against the defense, and it's 14-13, Aggies behind Nick Vigil. So blitz off the edge. Here comes Painter again. He's picked up, though, and once his pass a little underthrown, and unable to scoop it up was A.J. Coney, fourth down. Myers back out at quarterback for the Aggies, handed off, and a hole again for Mays. Plays all the way across the 25 to the 26. Brought down by Bryce Cheek. 18-yard run for Mays. Mays not far away from 100 yards rushing in this game. 60-plus of it came on one carry in the first half. Fires, fires. Up to get it at midfield. Swindle. Brandon Swindle. Gain of 24. That's using your body and positioning. Watch this. He gets an inside release. There he is right now. But he's got to come back and shield the ball. Reaches back behind himself and shields. Takes the DB away from it. Great job of concentration and strong hands. Fourth sack today for the Akron defense. Second and 21. Thrown out into the flat where it's caught at the 36. Andrew Rodriguez who lost the football. And Akron jumps on it at the 40. Well, he may have been down. John Center recovered it for the Zips. It looked like he was trying to use his elbows to try to get back up. Let's see if that... The ruling on the field is a fumble recovered no, by Akron. No. First down. No, yeah, it's, that's, that's not down, I believe, at that point. He had his hands down on the ground, but the ball head was in one hand. And he was trying to regain his balance, pick himself back up, and lost the football. Here's another look at it. He's not down there. You can use the hand. It's putting his hand down. That ball, I think, is live. Check in with Kevin. First and third down at five. Caught in the flat. Pratt. Takes three defenders. And he's all the way up to the 25 and a first down. Philly Unga and Davis are taken for a ride there. Ten-yard gain. Seventh catch of the day, by the way, for Andrew Pratt. Woodson looks left, now looks right, throws in between double coverage and somehow caught by Pratt, who stopped short of the end zone, but made the grab, split two defenders. What a play. Well, this is throwing into a tight window, I will tell you what, because you don't want to force this ball in there, but he's got a lot of confidence right now in Pratt, and I think he's getting the coverage that he wants. See, right there between the two defenders, and then they almost knock each other off. Great block by Donnell Alexander to give Woodson the time to make that throw. Von Gothney also in there, one of the H-backs. Allen, a fullback. Here's the pitch, Alexander running left, and he wins the race to the goal line touchdown. Had everybody look in the other direction and pitched to Donnell Alexander for his third rushing touchdown of the year. Belly toss, Luke down here is a great play because the defense is going with the first movement of the quarterback or backs. Take a little look at the slide ahead of the quarterback. He's going to step and fake the, the belly right there, the dive. A great toss outside to Alexander, who then chooses, rather use his speed, I'm going to make sure I get that two yards into the end zone. Eight-play drive, 40 yards, and right at four minutes. Taking advantage of the Utah State fumble. And after being stopped on a number of occasions down near the goal line, they finally get it in. The pitch to Alexander. And the Zips back in front in Boise. If they 
think they're going to get pressure. They like crossing routes, but now with uh, no backs, this is an empty situation. They can go vertical seam or the deep crossover. Fires. Got to run with it. But it's pushed out by Chris Gibbons. Nine rushes for 24 yards, but he has a touchdown reception of 14 yards to open the scoring in the first quarter. On third and 10, takes a deep shot. And out of reach and incomplete, looking for A.J. Coney. And Brian Hayes right on his heels. Fired by Byers, and it's completed to Rodriguez. Caught, though, at the 30 by Zach Kaiser. Ten-yard pickup, though. Model said he's a freak, an athletic freak. Paul Marcus, there's a first down. Tackle by Hope. 17 seconds left in this third quarter. Third and ten for Utah State. Stack two receivers to each side. Myers wanted to step up, but he's sacked back at midfield. Cody Grice. The fifth sack of the day for the Akron defense. Looking at third and 11 here. Changing the pressure point. Dusty coming after him. Throws a fastball strike. First down catch and run for Andrew Pratt, who's been his top target today. His ninth catch in 21 yard game. Zone blitz. They're trying to pressure. Playing just zone behind, though. Nice job of picking it up by the Akron offensive line. Pratt juggles that ball just a little bit, but he's wide open. I think they have a free play on offsides by the defense, and they find Lane at the 33, and that should be a first down. it up. Pass caught at the 30. Broken tackle lane, but then he tumbled down. Looked like he was going to stay on his feet. Save a potential first down. Tyler Floyd, great job of finishing the play. Big field goal attempt here. 46 yards to make it a two-score game, and he nailed it. Well, Stein is hit from 33, 29, and now 46. And the lead up to 23, 14 accurate. As as snowflakes start to fall right now, that's a two-possession game. And Utah State, I'll tell you what, got the work cut out for him. There's the kick goes right through. And you're going to watch a very, very happy coach, Terry Bowden, excited about that lead right now. First time we've seen Keaton here in the second half. That's completed. Sharp avoids the tackle at the 40, all the way up to the 45. Gains 10, first down. Play clock at six. Hunt. Stopped at the 39. It's about four yards from the first down. Two scores down, six minutes, 18 seconds. This looks like four down territory. up. They're saying it's a completion, but it looked like that might have skipped a swindle. Now they're saying incomplete. We'll take a look here in the replay and just see it. It looked like he scooped it. The one official with his could, could not see it as the one who signaled the catch. Uh, you know what? It's tough because it looks as if his hands were underneath, but the ball touched the ground. I think they're going to take a look at this maybe. The other After review, the ruling on the field stands. First down for Acker. Passes in. Yard line. Complete. Snap it right about five. Hand it off. Donnell Alexander. And a first down run to the Utah State 45. Brought down by Tory Green. It's an 11-yard game. Maggie's just used a timeout. They have two remaining. Keep in the hands of Woodson, who gets a block on the edge from Alexander. And where he comes down, right near the marker, is close. This will be a huge spot, and it looks like 
Akron got the benefit of a pretty good spot. Tyler Floyd upended Woodson, who went flying forward and came down right near the line. After the review, the runner was down at the 35 and a half yard line. The ball will be placed there, fourth down and a half yard. The clock will start on my ready for play signal. All right, so here's the decision we were talking about. That's about the victory. We got Allen, the fullback, going for it, handed it off. Bryce, and he stopped. And Hope still there for Utah State. They're going to take over on downs. That's a great defensive stand. Trying to go with the big fella. He's got the power, but once again, Utah State getting underneath the pad level of the Akron offensive line. And there's a little bit of a slight hole there, but uh, the big fella couldn't quite see it and uh, get stopped in the backfield. So they brought in Grice. Keaton's pass caught by Houston, who came out of nowhere for the first down. I think DeAndre Scott thought he was going to pick that ball off for Akron, and all of a sudden, Houston cut right across and caught that one. Keaton's going to run, but he's going to run for the first down. That'll stop the clock to move the chains. He's down to the 29. Tackled by Dylan Evans. They get right back up to the line. The old quarterback still has a few moves in it. Final playing game for Keaton, and he finds wide open Dax Raymond. It'll be first and goal at the seven. Now remember, they still... First and goal, Aggies at the two. Keaton throws, hit zone, touchdown. Made it look easy. Brandon Swindle in his final collegiate game, a guy who's gone through a lot of injuries the last couple of years, having a fine contest today as his second touchdown catch. Okay. All comes down the outside kick. So a touchdown pass for Chucky Keaton. Keaton adds to his school record. That's his 62nd career touchdown pass. And a point after makes it a two-point game. 23 21 play, though. There's a flag. But a look at the score. Chucky is going, I didn't believe it could be that easy. That's okay, though. I'll take it. Perhaps his final collegiate Holding touchdown pass. On the offense, number 64. Ten-yard penalty from the previous plot. We will replay the try. And now it's a two-point game. Five guys to this side of the screen, four guys to the left. Two kicker type guys in there. There's the onside kick. And it's recovered. Didn't go 10 yards, didn't have to, but DeAndre Scott came up and recovered it at the 43. And the Akron Zips going to win a bowl game for the first time in school history. They must like the matchup on that side. There you go, and a nice job by 58, avoiding it. Hauser just said, hey, I let Scott, I let the receiver take it. I'm a linebacker type guy. As expected, keeping it on the ground with Woodson. He's going to be dropped at the 40. So they'll start the 42nd clock. Boy, it's only going to be about 13, 10 seconds. Yeah. Se yeah. Chucky Keaton. This be the final play of his collegiate career. Six seconds left. Is Bobby Bowden looking on? Here we go. Here's the pass. There's a lateral. A second lateral. Goes back at the eight. Well, he's still there. Right here to the sideline. Now out of bounds, and this one's over. For the first time in school history, the Akron Zips have won a bowl game. They take the 2015 famous Idaho Potato Bowl. Congratulations.
congratulations to Coach Bob for bringing that program all the way back. First bowl win, they got to be really excited. As he talked about the greatest team in Akron history. He took over a team that won one game. They won one game his first year, and now here in year four, they have won a bowl game. Eight wins for their first bowl win in school history. The 2015 famous Idaho Potato Bowl champion, the Akron Zips, get their eighth win of the season and win it. Post-game trophy ceremony coming up on ESPN3. We're going to send it to Alan Beswick and the crew. The Marmot Boca Raton Bowl for Temple versus Toledo. For Mike Bellotti, Kevin Wendell, our entire crew, I'm Mark Neely. Thanks for sharing this one with us. Happy holidays. The Zips win it by two and win a bowl game for the first time in school history.